Bartolo Colon. <laughs> I could come up with a lot of things right there, but I'll just keep it to myself. Focus on Farnsworth. He's just keeping the ball away from Bohr the whole game. He wants to get it. There, ball oh. behind the back slip, and he got him. Oh, wow! <laughs> it's so easy for Cologne right now that he's able to put some mustard on it. Oh my gosh! Look at the bag of tricks. This man will live forever, like Bob Cousy. He's <laughs> almost as old as Cousy. <laughs> he's smiling. He knew it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Cologne looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one. Deep left field. That goes up to him. Back near the wall. It's out of here. <laughs> Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. The team vacates the dugout as Bartolo takes the long trot, his first career home run. And there will be nobody in the dugout to greet him. <laughs> this is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Colon has gone deep. I want to say that was one of the longest home run trots I've ever seen, but I think that's how fast he runs. <laughs> And now they'll flood up the tunnel and give him his just due. His 226th career at bat. <laughs> Drag butt attempt by Galvis and Cologne with the over the shoulder. Oh. And the behind the back toss to Boot. Oh, that's. <laughs> oh, he can do it all. Look at Cologne that. Cologne going deep for the alley oop. Oh, my goodness. It was like R.C. Owens. Going to the corner of the end zone. It's old enough to have watched R.C. Owens in his first plate appearance in 11 years. He goes after a pitch out of the strike zone. Molina having trouble with it, and Cologne beats it out. That's living right. You just never know what you're going to see. Keith, okay, check the spin on this baseball. You got a platinum, go oh, platinum glove winner behind the plate, who should have used two hands. He should have used his glove, and you're right about the spin, and that's what did it. It looked like Yadier was second guessing himself about picking it up, thinking that maybe it would have rolled foul. <laughs> and Cologne drives one to center field. That's a base hit. And it gets by Suzuki and rolls all the way to the wall. Wrecker scores. Cologne jogs into second with an RBI double. The most exciting at bat in baseball. <laughs> His second career extra base hit. And Cologne drives in a run to put the Mets in front two to one. Well, a legit bullet here and playing awfully shallow with Suzuki, and he couldn't get there in time. Cologne had a triple if he wanted it. He decided, I'd rather not. Let me just get the second base and break it on down. I got a few more outs to get on the mound. He's gotten worn out of the bases before. He doesn't want to have that happen again. That was like a chiropractic move. Well, he lost the helmet completely this time. Went partially askew the first time and completely gone this time. Another little cutter away. Five and seven record, but. Bartolo's got to get a new lid. I mean, the lid doesn't fit. Every time he swings, puts a lot into it. <laughs> I think the problem is how far he's trying to reach from his position in the batter's yeah. box. I mean, not, you usually don't get a lot of cheers for a foul ball, but Bartolo does. Well, he's already hit one fair ball today. 
grounded out to third base. He's very amused by the whole thing. And hits a tapper back to Morris. And again, Bartolo carries the bat with him. Has he made it to first base yet this year? I don't think he's gotten all the way there, but he's close. He's close. He's making it about 78 feet. And then once he gets there, <laughs> it takes a little tail to the right. And goes after a pitch out of the strike zone, and there goes the helmet. We, we could do an over and under on this, couldn't we? Helmet off per game for Cologne. I'm sure Vegas has a lot. <laughs> Doesn't get cheated. That's the one thing. This time he manages to keep the helmet on. Barely. See Bartolo before he got the hits in his last couple of games. He really didn't want to swing the bat when he came up but now he's feeling a little feisty. Well he's chased two out of the strike zone so there's certainly no need for Volquez to throw him one in the strike zone.